Hi Guyana, happy Christmas. So I was asked to tell you a bit about my family traditions and, um, and what Christmas means to me really. And I want to start by saying that like most uh, families, Christmas is really about family being together. And um, for me, the strongest symbol of my family and togetherness is really the Christmas tree. And um, I have a very big family. I, um, a lot of my family lives out of Guyana, and that's a norm in many of our, in our family structures. And for me, even when I was growing up, you know, my dad traveled a lot. And my mom also, with her work, she worked with Guyana Airways at the time, and was gone quite often. So the thing about Christmas is really an opportunity uh, when everybody was able to get together. And of course, as we got older and we went off to university, um, I remember some stressful moments when the last sibling would be arriving on a Christmas Eve. And we had a tradition that we would not put up the tree until everybody would be there. So uh, here's my Christmas tree. It's slightly different than um, I think most Christmas trees because every year I see I'm going to you know, change the ornaments, change the color, but I never really do. And what's different about my tree is that because my family really understands the importance of being together, and so many Christmases we're not together, there's always one or two people missing, my tree has a lot of pictures of the various family members. And um, for me, Christmas morning, I get up, I put on my Kenny G, I put on some uh, music. Music is very important to me, especially at Christmas. And um, I just stare at the lights and Christmas morning, I always start off with a good cry, um, thinking about everybody that's not here with me. Um, the funny thing is that, you know, I was reflecting on life and when you're young, uh, Christmas is the presents, Christmas is, you know, the shopping, the gifts. But for me, I understood in 2012 uh, the impact that many people experience at Christmas time. And that is people and families that have lost an important person in their family. So um, sadly for the Chumley Hughes family, I lost my mom and my dad and Nigel's dad in 2012. And, um, and so Christmas kind of changed. It wasn't so much the fun, the party, the, the, you know, the joy, but silent reflection, pondering on getting older, on age, on life, and really just always remembering the things that are important in this life. It's, it's not the material things, it, it really is the memories and the relationships that you're able to share with your family and friends. And you know, sometimes we get caught up in this fast world and we just don't make time for family and friends. So make sure you make that time this season. So let me show you a bit of my tree. This is my mom, Elizabeth Jean Wells. Everybody used to call her Betty Jean. And um, mommy really is a center of our family and our life. And she absolutely loved Christmas. Every Christmas Eve, she was always, always late. And I think, um, you know, I get that in the Christmas preparations from her. Uh, Christmas Eve night is when we would still be now trying to do the pepper pot, the cake in the oven, all that kind of madness. But anyway, mommy, I love you and I miss you so much. Um, my dad, my dad, my dad, my dad really is um, the epitome, I think, of what I am today. I grew up with my dad handing me a Time magazine, handing me a uh, Newsweek saying to me, read this article. Uh, he was very involved in politics and in what was happening in the world, what was happening in Guyana. And I think that when I look back on my life as a parliamentarian and how I got into politics, I think that it's probably the messages that my dad gave me as a very young child. My dad had this beautiful tradition. Every Christmas he would sneak out and he would actually go and buy um, gifts for his daughters. He had four daughters. One Christmas with my gift, this tag came and it said, 
My darling Catherine Andrea, life would be a bore without you. Hugs and love, Pops. He always signed us Pops. And um, again, life would be a bore without you. I think that was part of the fact that at that time, he and I used to have these battles about politics, especially politics in Guyana. And I think that's why he put life would be a bore, you know, all the arguments. And, um, and then, you know, my sister Deborah in our family is the one that on Christmas Day does this immaculate design of the Christmas table when we're about to eat. And she has to make these hand, um, these little name tags. And this is one Christmas where dad got very involved. And he actually, Deborah made the tags, but you'll see Nigel and there's one there, Kathy. And this is really the name tag off of our Christmas, um, Christmas table that day. My two sisters, three sisters actually, Tracy and Melina are of course from my mom and dad. So um, I'll put Melina, Tracy here. Uh, this is Tracy's husband, John, just above. And um, this is Melina and Nikki. Nikki's my um, brother-in-law. And um, yep, most importantly to Nigel's parents, Clarence and Christabel, I think we could put them. I always like to put the couples close to each other, you know, so at least on the tree, um, they're still, they're still a couple and they're together. Angels, angels for me are very important. And I think in the tree, you'll see quite a few angels. Um, I am a Christian and gain a lot of my strength and guidance from the gentleman above, God. And he has helped me to get through a lot of challenges. I call on him a lot and at Christmas time as we get confused with you know the symbols that's an important thing also to to remember that's my family from my family to yours happy Christmas <laughs>